Last night, the current Travis County District Attorney had a lot to celebrate. Jose Garza. Garza's huge win in the primary with 65% of the vote reaffirms that his progressive message continues to resonate with Austin voters. Well, today is uh, an important victory for our progressive movement here in Travis County. It is an important victory for criminal justice reform in Travis County. We're excited to continue our progress um, going into November and into a second term. His opponent, former prosecutor Jeremy Celestine, says he's not happy with the way the election turned out. He says conservative voices confused the voters by spending $1.2 million on their own anti-Garza messaging. My message is, is not really partisan. It's kind of down the middle and about balance and smarts and doing the job well. And I think that whoever it was, if, if Garza had had another challenger, I think that in, many of those groups would have just kind of latched on to the message anyway. Meanwhile, Garza is planning on continuing the agenda that first brought him into the DA's office just four years ago. Our work does not change. Um, we're going to continue to put in place strategies to prevent gun violence in our community. We're going to continue to stand with survivors of sexual assault and make sure that they can get justice in this criminal justice system. We are also going to continue to hold people accountable who commit acts of violence, and we're going to continue to reduce our reliance on incarceration and address the root causes of crime in our community because that is in the best interest of our long-term safety. Garza still faces a Republican challenger in November, but right now is expected to easily win re-election. Reporting in Austin, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.